Day 27 of trying to explain every single note in Blender. And today we have the Sky Texture Note. The Sky Texture Note is one of the texture notes, which means that it outputs a 2D texture image. The Sky Texture Note has three types, Freedham, Wilkie, and Nishida. For this video, we're going to be using Nishida because that is the most used one and it has the most control, so that's why people prefer it. The Sky Texture Note has eight sliders, the sun size and intensity. The sun size is based on the angle that a celestial object has on our sky and by default this is set to our sun's angle then we have the elevation and rotation the elevation is the time of day and the rotation is basically east and west then we have altitude the altitude changes the amount of air molecules in the air which makes for a different refraction of the light and then we have the most useful controls which are air dust and ozone air generally makes the air a lot more orange or red dust generally makes it more gray and blurry and ozone generally makes it more blue you can change this to get the look that you want more air generally means a more post-apocalyptic feeling in combination with dust compared to if you tone that down and turn the ozone all the way up which makes for a really nice sunny summer day this note is most commonly used in the world shader in combination with the world output if you learned something please leave a like and subscribe if you didn't please leave a comment and i'll try to help you